Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, we have breaking news, breaking news coming out of the South, South Asia. South Korea is confirming, I repeat, South Korea is confirming that North Korea has just fired another missile, an intercontinental ballistic missile toward Japan. Now, this has just happened moments ago. Matter of fact, North Korea appears to have fired this ballistic missile According to BNO News, North Korea has fired what appears to be an intercontinental ballistic missile, according to South Korean and Japanese sources, are confirming it. Uh, the missile was launched early Saturday morning. Now, I realize this is, uh, what is this, 6.30 p.m. Eastern if you're on the East Coast. It's 3.30 here in California. Uh, but it is already early Saturday morning in South Asia. The missile was launched early Saturday morning through specific details. Uh, we do not know immediately what the specifics are. They're not available yet. It just happened. The news was reported by both Japanese uh, Kodo News Agency, which cited that the Japanese government sources and also South Korea's Yonhap News Agency, also the South Korea military. This type of missile and its direction not fully known other than it was in the direction of Japan. Now, the launch comes nearly a month after North Korea fired a long-range missile capable of reaching large parts of the United States mainland, including Los Angeles and Chicago. The test comes just weeks after the launch. Continental ballistic missile. And the latest developments follow months of escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula, fueled by North Korea's frequent missile test and its advancing nuclear weapons program, as well as the United States military exercise and statements by U.S. President Donald J. Trump. This is a breaking news alert. Repeat, this is a breaking news re uh, alert. Uh, North Korea has launched a intercontinental ballistic missile. It is confirmed by both the South Korean main news agency and the Japanese news agency. And of course, Kim Jong-un, he did it when? When America is bracing for Hurricane Harvey. The President of the United States totally preoccupied with what to do to help out as it relates to the uh, catastrophic, cataclysmic, apocalyptic, uh, uh, I mean, just folks, seriously, a, uh, of a biblical proportion, a storm of a thousand years is what some of the meteorologists is calling Hurricane Harvey, only five days after the solar eclipse, and President Trump had already declared war on Afghanistan and South Asia five days ago on the same day of the eclipse. Here we are, Hurricane Harvey is coming ashore, Category 3, 125 mile an hour winds, 40 inches of rain expected, 12 foot wave storm surge, and while this is happening simultaneously, Kim Jong-un is launching his missiles into the sky toward Japan. Now we need to get officially where this missile lands. He just fired it, it hasn't landed yet, so we're, we're working on that. But uh, I need you to pray. I need you really, really, really to pray. And I, I, I'm sorry I didn't have the chat on, but this is breaking news. It's a very serious situation, extremely serious situation taking place right now. It just happened that North Korea's Kim Jong-un just went Kim Jong-boom, and he did it Kim Jong-soon after being warned by President Donald Trump not to do this. Kim Jong-un fires a intercontinental ballistic missile, and he does it as Hurricane Harvey is coming ashore. This is very dangerous, very sad, very, very serious, very concerning. The Japanese are on high alert. The South Koreans are on high alert. The United States, has John S. McCain is crippled. We got five sailors injured, two 
sailors found dead, eight sailors still missing. We were hit with some kind of EMP. President Trump, the solar eclipse, it's all converging at once, apocalyptically, if you can't see the signs of the end times. You know, I got people who will say to me, Begley, you know, you're just fear-mongering. I didn't fire the missile! And I didn't create Hurricane Harvey and send it right toward Corpus Christi. And the, the Bible told us that there shall be signs in the sun. Okay, that would be a solar eclipse. And in the moon. Well, that took... It took a moon to make a solar eclipse. And in the stars, here come the constellations. Revelation 12, coming up September 23rd, Feast of Trumpets. For there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, the stars. Distress of nations with perplexity. I think Kim Jong-un firing a missile during a hurricane coming ashore might qualify as a distressful situation. So there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, the stars, distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts will fail them for fear. I said men's hearts will fail them for fear. That's not fear mongering, Paul Begley, as people like to say. That's Jesus Christ prophesying the end time. Men's hearts will fail them for fear, for looking after those things coming on the earth. We got an asteroid coming in a few days. That's right, asteroid 2012 TC4. It's going to go scraping by the earth so close that it's going to part your hair. Men's hearts will fail them for fear, for looking after those things coming up on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall you see the Son of Man. Coming in a cloud, power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. I don't think, I know I was ahead of all of the major networks. Is CNN covering it yet? Has MSNBC awake yet, or are they already showing reruns of the prison, the prison camps? You know, you know why they show you those reruns on MSNBC all weekend of people in prison? They want to recondition you for when you're in a FEMA camp. When the beast rises. Now they're saying it's on CNN. Oh, good job, CNN. I beat you by what? Six minutes? Seven minutes? It's not bad. CNN's getting better. It's getting a little better. So North Korea has fired an intercontinental ballistic missile just moments ago. And Hurricane Harvey is going to hit Corpus Christi, Texas. Now, Corpus Christi means in Latin, body of Christ. And Hurricane Harvey, the name Harvey means battle ready so the the body of christ better get battle ready because the signs of the coming of the beast is upon us revelation 12 there are two wonders in heaven the first wonder is the woman the the nation of israel clothed in the sun with the moon under her feet and her 12 stars of her in her crown representing the 12 tribes she will give birth to the man child or to the body of christ and that body of christ We'll go to war with the beast. And already the warnings are out there. We're in the last days. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? Because I'm telling you, he's coming. We don't know the day nor the hour. And I tell you, if he was to come now, would you be going? Or would you be left behind? It's a dangerous time right now. Kim Jong-un just went Kim jong boom. He did it real, Kim Jong-soon. To Kim jong whom we don't know. But um, we're in the last days. God bless all of you. I'll be back later tonight. I'm still watching the storm. But now, what, is, what does Donald Trump do this weekend? He's got the media on his case. The media wants to know why should he cancel his trip. I heard a reporter ask Sarah Huckabee Sanders, is the president going to cancel his trip in light of the hurricane? She looked at this person and said, she wanted to say, are you an idiot? He's going to Camp David for strategy on the hurricane and the military. He's just declared war on Afghanistan, Taliban, and the South Asia. So, he no, he's not canceling his trip 45 minutes to Camp David. It's not a vacation he's on. He's bringing in all the generals, the Joint Chief of Staff, all the top military brass he can find 
and the FEMA director and everybody else to strategically help the people in Texas and Louisiana. Some of the mainstream, lamestream fake news media literally need to get a different job. They really need to get a different job because they're not journalists. They're not journalists. They've become worthless. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. Propaganda city, man. Propaganda city out there. Pray for South Korea. Pray for the Japanese. Pray for our men and women in the uniform and all of our ships out on the open sea in the South Pacific, all of our submarines. Pray for one another. Pray for everybody in Texas. Pray for Galveston. Pray for uh, uh, Corpus Christi. Pray for Houston. Pray for Lake Charles, Louisiana. Pray for Louisiana and Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Texas. We don't know what's going to happen. There will be tornadoes probably. There will be tornadoes probably. Are you serious?